So we are here at the party to open the Giga Factory. And everybody you meet here is special because they're not here somewhere. But it's my favorite guy, which I watch all his movies from Norway, Bjorn. Why did you wear why were you invited this time? Because you're always here. Well, uh, I got some tickets. Yeah, I want to see this event. And also I uh, wanted to see meet my fans and my followers. So this is the right place to be. This is the right place to be, yeah. yeah. Did you already do the tour? Not yet. My tour is late. Oh yeah, see. So uh, I have to wait here for a while. Yeah, no, but you, I think you can now go in line. Uh, yeah, soon. So um, you now have your Model X for how long? A month? Yeah, no, not even a month. Like two weeks. Two weeks. Yes. So what's your opinion? I mean, the Model S is already sold. I hear. What do you think of the Model X compared to the Model S? Model X is like a better car. All over the better car. They have made many improvements over the S. And unfortunately, the the, um, the facelift Model S doesn't have these improvements yet. For instance, better wipers, adjustable uh, seat belts, per perforated seats with uh, ventilation, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Model S doesn't get it yet. So for now, Model X is still the top spec, like the yeah. top car. But you think the Model X is much better and the Model S will take all those improvements. Yeah, well, so, uh, now, you bought this Model S and then you, became, you made movies. Uh, how did it change your life? What do you do in normal life? And how is making movies about Tesla changed it? Well, before before I used to waste a lot of time gaming. I don't game anymore. I quit gaming. I spent all my time driving and making videos. And it's been so much fun over the years now. Meet new people and just you know make make videos and like, give something to the community. Yeah. What do you do in normal life? Well, I work full time at uh, Statistics Norway as a programmer. Yeah. And what kind of company is that? What is what? Excuse me. What what is the company? What does the company do? Uh, statistics Norway is the government. They do statistics and yeah, surveys and stuff. And you still do that? You still do that every day? So now you make all these movies. How did that change your life? What 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 is fun about it and what is uh, strange about it? Well, you know, it's um, it's always been my passion to make movies, and you know now I can also make some money from it, get some nice prizes. I was lucky, but I just you know I can. Um, Make something that everyone get like get to see. Yeah, yeah. everyone can enjoy my movies. Yeah, that's true. How do you make money with your movies? Well, I get a little bit from uh, from uh, ads and then many of those uh, referral programs. But that's just like a that's just like a like, lucky event. Yeah, it's not something I can count on in the future. And that uh, you we are you were the, the the only one in Europe who got the first uh, ten referrals. So you got the free Model X, right? Oh yeah, that's right. The Model X, yeah, fully loaded. Yeah. So, what is your opinion about uh, Tesla? How it's developing? Well, let's talk about that first. Oh, you know, they're just over like two or three years. They have done a tremendous um, like development. Just if we compare that to other cars, so I think it's looking very great for Tesla. Yeah. Yeah. So, sixty percent of the cars, electric cars. There's five hundred thousand cars were sold last year. 70% were sold in Holland, Norway, or California. Yeah, yeah. So nobody else, except for the Dutch, the Norwegians, and the Californians, is driving an electric car. How fast do you think that will change? No, you know, it's not true because China has sold a lot. Yeah, in China, and the other countries are coming. Yeah. yeah. So China went from nothing to 40%. To yeah. yeah, yeah. That's true. So it's coming in the other countries as well. Yeah. Do, you, do you see it? I mean, the Swedes, for example, or the Finnish. Do you already see it in the countries next to you? Do you already see it changing? Uh, you know, they're coming, but the problem with the other countries is that they don't have good incentives and it's still a very expensive car. So the government has to give some incentives for EVs, then they'll be coming. Do you think so? Or should you just wait till the technology is cheap enough? I mean, when Model 3 comes, normal human beings can buy it without any subsidizing. Oh yes, that's right. Model 3 will change everything. And of course, this battery fa uh, factory. Uh, which we need for Model 3. Oh, yeah. Any other brands, you uh, do you also drive in other electric cars? In the Volvo or other uh, variations? Uh, no, I, test, I have tested the BMW i3 and the Nissan Leaf. Just to be curious, and also my followers want me to review the other cars. Yeah. So by knowing the other cars, you know, I can know the, like, what the good and the bad sides about the other uh, brands. And what's so good about Tesla? Yeah. And what is your judgment on the Nissan Leaf and the BMW? Well, the BMW is a very nice car, fast, 
that I love it. It's made almost from from the ground through electric. But Nissan Leaf is also very good. Yeah. Only problem with Nissan Leaf is cooling of the battery, yeah. which uh, it doesn't have. So Tesla is very good with the cooling. But BMW is really number two. Um, and then if we get if we look at um, autopilot, you yeah. know, you now have your first Tesla. Did it have autopilot? Nope. No. Just like me, I'm, I'm getting my Model X next month. What uh, What is your opinion about autopilot? How do you like that? You know, I haven't I haven't um, compared the autopilot with other cars. But what from what I heard, the autopilot on Mercedes is not very good. Actually, not Audi. Audi, the same thing. Yes, yeah. yeah, to the point where it's dangerous to use. But the autopilot on Tesla is is so good. I mean, it makes drive. It, it takes away the boring part of the driving. But you can still enjoy the fun part on windy roads. Yeah. How many travels do you make uh, out of Norway because of your movies? Uh, I mean, I saw you in Belgium, yeah. but uh, where have you been? I've been pretty much all over Europe. I went to uh, to Switzerland last year, and also to uh, yeah to to Netherlands, Belgium. But I haven't traveled too far yet because that was that was actually two years ago. Yeah, and then back then the supercharger network wasn't too to uh, like develop yet. Okay. I'll ask you what you think of the battery factory after the tour. Thanks so far. All right. Okay, we're going to our next guest, but this is one of the most famous guys from Norway. And of course he's here, just like anybody who's important in the Tesla world. <laughs> 